Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about the meaning of the term perquisites and what are the different types of perquisites. Perquisites taxable in the hands of all employees. Second, perquisites taxable only in specified cases. And lastly, tax free perquisites. So last video I have explained you about the rent free accommodation. How to calculate the value of rent free unfurnished accommodation and furnished accommodation. Now in this video I am going to explain you the valuation of other perquisites. Remember these videos, this theory is very very important. Without understanding the provisions you cannot solve the problem. So ultimately the problems are based on these provisions. So watch the video till the end. Don't skip in between. Always keep a notebook, calculator, pen ready while explaining. You must write it down itself. Right. So before explaining further, take the screenshot of the points which I have given on the board. Then I'll explain. Now, first perquisite we have discussed that is rent free accommodation. Remember, we are discussing about those perquisites which are taxable to all employees. Now, first rent free accommodation, second one, concession in rent of accommodation. Sometimes the employer will give the accommodation to the employee not free of rent but at concessional rent. Example, if the rental value of that flat is 40,000 rupees per month, but the employer is charging only 5,000 rupees per month, that means the employee is getting concession in rent. That is also taxable perquisite in the hands of all employees. So how to calculate the value of the perquisite? The value of the perquisite, first we have to treat the accommodation as rent free. First think that the accommodation is rent free and calculate its value. After calculating the value of rent free accommodation, then subtract the rent paid by the employee to the employer. Actual rent paid by the employee that will be deducted. We will get the concession that is tax. Next third point, insurance premium paid by the employer on the life policy of the employee or family members. Sometimes the life insurance policy is taken by the employee in his or her name or the insurance policy is taken in the name of the members of the family but the premium insurance premium is paid by the employer then whatever insurance premium paid by the employer or payable by the employer is fully taxable perquisite in the hands of all employees next any personal monetary obligation of the employee met by the employer sometimes some monetary obligations are there of the employee it has to be paid by the employee but according to agreement employer is paying the expenditure of the employee is being paid by the employer it is fully taxable perquisite examples examples of those perquisites are employer pays club bills the employee has become a member of a club but the club fees is being paid by the employer it's an obligation of the employee met by the employer employer pays or reimburses the school or college fees of the children then it is taxable perquisite in all cases example the employee's children are studying in a school or college but the fees is paid by the employer or uh, fees is reimbursed by the employer it is a taxable perquisite in the hands of all employees if the employee employs the sweeper, gardener or any other servant but the salary is paid by the employer, it is fully taxed. Example, Mr. X employee, he has appointed, he has appointed a sweeper, gardener or any other servant but the salary of that servant is being paid by the employer, it's a taxable perquisite in the hands of all employees. Income tax or professional tax paid by the employer. <coughs> Income tax or professional tax of the employee. It has to be paid by the employee. But sometimes agreement is there. Whatever income tax or professional tax of the employee will be paid by the employer. 
then it's a taxable perquisite. So whatever income tax or profession tax paid by the employer, it's a taxable perquisite in the hands of all employees. Electricity, water, gas bill or the domestic connection in the name of the employee, but the bill is paid by the employer. Very important. All these points will appear in problems. If you watch carefully with full concentration, you don't find any difficulty in problems. So give more concentration on my lecture. So if the electricity, water or gas connection is in the name of the employee, the connection is in the name of the employee, but the water bill, electricity bill, gas bill, that bill is paid by the employer in that case. It's a fully taxable perquisite in the hands of all employees. In all the above mentioned examples, the actual amount paid by the employer is the value of the perquisite. Here few examples I have given. These are the monetary obligations of the employee paid by the employer. So whatever amount employer pay, that is the value of the perquisite. That's all. So we have completed fourth point. Now fifth point is regarding interest free loan or concession in interest. If an employee has taken a loan from bank, the employee has to pay the interest on the loan. But sometimes the loan will be given by the employer to the employee interest free without charging any interest or at concessional interest. In that case, the employee is getting the benefit. There is no need to pay any interest. So that is also a taxable perquisite according to the provisions of Income Tax Act. So if the employer grants loan to the employees for personal purpose, as interest free loan or gives in any loan concessional rate, then it is taxable perquisite. Now the loan may be given either to employee or their family members. First point. Second, the value of the perquisite is equal to the interest charged by SBA. So how to find out the value of the perquisite? Income Tax Act has given the provision that whatever rate of interest SBI, State Bank of India will charge on their lending. When the SBI gives the loan to the customers, what is the rate of interest SBI will charge? That rate of interest will be the value of the perquisite. Next one is, if an employee has taken a loan for, for medical treatment or an, on an approved hospital for the following ailments or disease, then it is a tax-free tax perquisite. Income Tax Act has given some provision. If an employee has taken a loan from the employer, for a specified disease, the diseases has been specified by Income Tax Act and the treatment is done in a recognized hospital. The Income Tax Act has given the list of recognized hospital in every area, every state. So if the employee or their family member suffering from the specified disease and a treatment is done in a recognized hospital, then whatever medical expenses, whatever expenditure incurred, oh sorry, whatever loan given, interest-free loan given by the employer to the employee is a tax-free perquisite. Example, Mr. X is suffering from a particular specified disease and he is getting a treatment from a recognized hospital. He has taken a loan of 2 lakh rupees from the employer, interest-free income tax access. This interest-free loan taken by employee is tax-free because he is suffering from the specified disease and treatment is being done in a recognized hospital. So what are the specified diseases? Cancer, tuberculosis, AIDS, diseases or ailment of the heart or blood lymph glands, bone marrow, respiratory system or ailment or disease of the eye, ear, nose or throat requiring surgical operation. Small petty ailments that is not allowed. Only requiring surgical operations then loan taken will be tax free fracture in any part of the skeletal system gynecological or obstetric ailment requiring surgical operation few examples are given these are the specified diseases given by the income tax act if an employee or family member suffering from these diseases and treatment is done in a recognized hospital taking an interest free loan from the employer it's a tax-free perquisite. Now note, if the employee has taken a petty loan, very important note, if an employee has taken a petty loan during the previous year from the employer, aggregating to 20,000, then it becomes a tax-free perquisite. Income Tax Act says, if an employee has taken a petty loan 
petty loan means up to 20,000, not more than 20,000. So if the employee has taken small, small loans, sometimes 5,000, sometimes 10,000, sometimes 2,000, like that small loans the employee has taken from the employer interest free in that case. If the aggregate of all the loans taken is up to 20,000, it's a tax free perquisite, no tax. If the aggregate of all loans taken is up to 20,000, it's called petty loan. Now loan at concessional rate. Sometimes the employer will give the loan not interest free, but at concessional rate. That means the SBI is charging interest at 15%, but the employer is charging only 5%. So how much is the concession? 10%, 15% minus 5%. So 10% is the concession in interest. That 10% we calculate on the loan amount and we get the benefit. We get the value of the perquisite. That's all. So five items I have explained. The rare, I mean taxable, fully taxable perquisite in the hands of all employees. Now sixth one, holiday facilities. Sometimes the employee or their family members availing holiday facilities provided by the employer to the employees. It is a taxable perquisite in all the cases for every employee. Holiday facilities given by the employer to the employee or their family members. So what is the value of the perquisite? The expenditure incurred by the employer on traveling, on accommodation or any other expenses paid by the employer. The aggregate of all expenditure incurred by the employer on holiday facility will be a taxable perquisite. Next one, free meals. Sometimes free meals are given by the employer to the employee. Now what is the tax position? Here different situations I have explained. And remember these provisions are very important. Every now and then frequently will come across these points while doing the problem. So you must be in a position to remember that this is the provision of income tax act for this point. Now, if the value of the free meals provided by the employer to the employee is taxable perquisite to all employees. So free meals given by the employer to the employee will be a taxable perquisite. But some situations are there. Refreshment, remember. Refreshment, snacks, tea or soft drinks provided by the employer to the employee during business hours and within the business premises is a tax-free perquisite. During business hours, two conditions are attached. Refreshments, snacks, tea, soft drinks, etc. These are the things which are provided by the employer to the employee during business hours. And within the business premises, it's a tax-free perquisite, not taxable. Secondly, refreshments, snacks, soft drinks, etc. provided by the employer after the business hours. After the business hours, but within the business premises, it is a taxable perquisite. Suppose the business time is 5 o'clock to, suppose the evening, uh, 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Morning 10, evening 5. These are the business hours. But the employer has provided the soft drinks, uh, refreshments, etc. after 5 o'clock. But within the business premises, it is a taxable perquisite in the hands of the employee. Last, refreshments, snacks, tea, soft drinks, etc. provided by the employer after business hours and outside the business premises. If the employer provides the refreshments to the employee after the business hours and outside the business premises, it is a taxable perquisite. Free meals provided by the employer during office hours in the office premises if the, can't, if the cost of each meal is less than rupees 50, very important. So far we have discussed about refreshments. Now we are discussing about meals. Meals include lunch as well as dinner. So suppose the employer provides free meals in the form of lunch or in the form of dinner. If it is provided within the business premises and during the business hours, it is tax free perquisite if the cost of each meal is up to 50 rupees. Up to 50 rupees each meal. It is tax free, right? <clears throat> if for free meals provided by the employer during office hours, in the office premises, if the cost of each meal is more than 50 rupees, in excess of 50 rupees, then whatever is the value in excess of 50 rupees, that is taxable. Example, during the year, 
the employer has provided meals to the employees for 100 days for 100 days each day the cost of each meal is let it be 200 rupees 200 rupees is the cost of each meal but income tax act says up to 50 rupees it is exempted the 200 minus 50 150 rupees is taxable per day 150 is taxable per day so how many days 100 days so 150 into 100 15000 so 15000 is the value taxable value of perquisite <coughs> next free meals provided to an employee in an official tour suppose if the employee is sent on official tour on the official tour he is having the meals and the meal bill is paid by the employer it's a tax free perquisite because he is on official tour and the meal expenditure is paid by the employer it's a tax free next one free meals provided by the employer to the employer during working hours which is provided to a remote area or an offshore installation tax free perquisite sometimes the free meals are provided by the employer to the employee who is working in a remote area or an offshore installation in that case it's a tax free perquisite because he is working in a remote area and the meals are provided during business hours then <clears throat> uh, free meals provided by the employer to the employee after working hours in a remote area after working hours in a remote area or an offshore installation it's a taxable perquisite so these are the points you have to remember regarding the valuation of perquisite still many more perquisites have to come only after knowing the provisions of all the perquisites then only you should go for the problems so i wish you all the best for your preparations and uh, take more interest in the subject of income tax it's very interesting Normally students will think that it's a boring subject or uh, it will require a lot of hard work but you will enjoy in learning the provisions and all these provisions are practically implemented in India according to the Income Tax Act 1961. So if you are satisfied give a like to the video, share my channel, give your comments, subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and uh, by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue our discussion on perquisites in the next video